Uh, let's see about how to create the hero section of the landing page at first. Here I have the Figma design of the landing page. And now let's create the hero section. So at first let's analyze this design. Here we have a box which holds the content on the left and an image on the right. And coming to the left, we have a display text, a title, a paragraph, and a button, and at last we have a follow me text. So these, these title, display text, and paragraph, and button will be under a one wrap and this follow me will be in another wrap and again inside it we can add the icons and coming to the right we have images along with two symbols and we need to make this triangle and a star symbol as our absolute and let's make this image as relative so we have analyzed and let's add the background as like in this design so we have analyzed this design Let's go to the frame. So at first, let, let's add the frame for the background. So I'm adding a frame. In order to make it a stack, I'm going to the desktop and I'm pressing layout to make it a stack. Now the frame is created. Now inside the frame, let's add the background. So I'm going to the fill and at last, we can see the image so from here we can choose the image so we have included the background image and now we need to add another frame that holds this text and image so let me add another frame and make this hero section to stack in order to align it properly so again inside we need a two frames so let's add two frames coming to the content wrap let's set the width to relative this full wrap takes the fixed height and width so let's make the width to fill and height to fit so inside this content wrap now we need to add the text so to add the text, I'm using text option. This position by default is set to absolute. So we need to make it as relative. Beforehand, we need to set this content wrap to stack. So it's automatically changed its position to relative. And again, I'm duplicating this. Actually, it's overflowing. In order to avoid that, I'm going to the size that and let's set the width to fill so this content will fill based on its parent got it and also we need to make this text to fill fine and next we need to add the paragraph Now we need to add the button. So to create the button, I'm again using the frame. It's having the fixed width and height. Let's make it to fit content. And for the height, fit content. Now we can give the padding value from here. Now let's add this social media link. For that again inside this content wrap, I'm creating a frame.
Now let's give the width to fill and height to fit content and also the text take the fixed width. Let's make it to fill. Now let's erase this color. Now we need to add this icon. So for this and again I'm creating a frame in order to hold the, all the icons. Now inside this, we need to create the icons. So I am adding a prosper icon. So here, so from here, I can add the icon. The same follow-ups for the other icons. We can change the color from here. In order to make all the elements to be contained, we need to create a container. So above this full wrap, I'm creating a frame by using Ctrl Alt Enter and I'm giving a name to container. And let's give the max width 2200. And even we can also change the breakpoint size as by our wish. For instance, I'm using 1,208. So we can able to clearly see that all the elements is contained with a particular width. Now let's add these images. Let's change the image. We can clearly see this image is at the other end. So let me give the distribution to end. Okay, now we need to add the symbols. So for that, creating a frame, let's make this frame to absolute. So we can able to move it around. Actually, this shape is hiding. It's because of this overflow so let me check whether the parents overflow is hidden yes this overflow is hidden so let me change it to visible and again it's not visible beyond this so let me go to the full wrap the overflow visible again it's not so go to the container visible yeah and in order to make this image to be at the frame we need to set the Z index. So going to the styles, I'm choosing Z index. Let's make the Z index to 1. So we can view this image at the front. So now we need to add this polygon. And we need to add a star. So finally, we have made as like in our Figma. You can always walk through by checking out my other videos in the Framer Beginner Tutorial playlist. Subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss anything. See you in the next section. I have uncovered detailed insight in my upcoming beginner framer friendly course. For additional information, check the link in the description below.